uh, hi everyone so in this video we are going to talk about another important tags like the form tags image tag table tag so if you can see that you can just create a simple construct a simple table something like this and what this table is doing a just having the t hat i mean table will have a row and column structure so we see these tables on the different web pages what they have they have the heading they have the column they have the rules right so t hat is about the heading t body is about the body of the table where we have the different rows and different columns right similarly we have ordered list and unordered list you might want to structure the data which is being shown on the html page in some kind of ordered list right then you can use this ordered list or unordered list means you will just use a dot i mean while uh, formatting the text we use it uh, very often right these particular tags so we can use uh, ul ol or od or t right so so this is another one dldt this is another tag in the same sequence so either you can use a ul li this is a standard one uh, uh, or an ordered list ol is a ordered list where you will get a sequence of numbers or you can use a dldt dd so this is another way which we don't use that much we are fine with using ul uh, li and ol li now next thing which we are going to talk about is the other tags which we use like in our application which can be the form tag like in the form tag how we are doing the validations and all <clears throat> so in html5 what uh, other tags we can talk about the important one is the the for, form attributes so in the form is the most important tag and that we use everywhere like you wanted to write an html form which is taking some input argument like username password to the login form of most of the application what they do is they ask you to enter something and some input type you might have seen okay it is taking password it is taking input text field it is taking some number it is taking some file as an input so that is nothing but that is just a way of taking the input from the user right so that all we specify what kind of type you want so here you can see the input type so if we just talk about this particular tag if input type text means it is going to accept a text if you say input type is password then it will be accepting a password as an input so if i just do then we have input type username and input type password you can just do a line break for now right and we have a submit button so we can also line break for that yeah so you can see i'm able to type text i'm able to type password right so, but both the input types are different and how they are different based on the type there can be input type file what it will do it will be taking input type file chooser as an input All right this will look little different you can say it is taking file as an input similarly so this is input is an html uh, element html tag and inside that we are very we are making variations based on the type so type can be text number uh, password file all these different type of uh, tag type you can provide and based on that the behavior will change right so in html attributes we sometimes we see the drop down sometimes we see the checkbox input type radio all these things you might see so if we just talk about a complete html form right html forms considered a different way so input type text radio and we have a submit button so there also input type submit right this is a button we have and when you click on to this button we would be able to submit the data to the element so there are many combinations i mean you can have uh, radio also input type radio input type radio is doing nothing but it is giving you the options to select few of them right if you just select reload it then we have input type radio and again i need to just uh, line break it so we can see it input type radio so in the radio what the important thing is the input type will be the radio okay so type can be radio text password file okay and here these are the labels and the name will be uh, same name gender right this is the constraint for the input type so that you can group them inside you know together and only one will be allowed to get selected so when you select male female will be unselected if it is already selected 
Similarly, we have like simple checkbox we can add in our form. And finally, when you submit the form, what should happen? So here you define action. Inside action, you just define some endpoint. This is how we are used to do. Okay, this is the hello will be the endpoint and it will be just going to push this data to the hello request. And you can also specify the method. I mean, these are the good old days where you, we used to write these kind of uh, math forms, but now we are using these different framework, right? So we are not usually doing the forms like this, but you can specify the action and method. Method can be a post. Okay, by default, it is a post until unless you define a method. Then when you define a method, it will submit a form there. Okay, so what all different things we have defined here? We have created a form method is an attribute you can see the action is an attribute and we created some input types so here we can have a input type inside a form we can have a checkbox we can have a radio button we can have a file chooser right and uh, we'll talk about this advanced things about how to disable the validations and add your own validations okay for your html form how you can add auto complete to the text fields the actions all so this is the basic HTML form I created and this will make so my HTML page look cool, right? Because I'm now I've started taking some input. I have a login form, I have a registration form where I'm asking username, password. Okay, what is uh, your email ID and submit, you get the data in the page and save it, send it to your server, save it this data. So this is the basic thing which comes into picture when we talk about web development and some exercise we are doing. Okay. So in the next video, we'll go further uh, in the direction of writing more forms and writing more texts.